See that? That is the Florida Citrus Tower. And that's where I'm going right up there. All the way on top. I'm gonna take a nice old elevator ride. Go all the way up there. And it's gonna be fun. I'll take you along with me and show you how it looks. I'll see you in a minute. I gotta tell you, that snake is huge. Look how big it is. Okay, she's gonna wait down here. She, okay. she don't want to go up in the elevator. Alright, enjoy. Just push the button. Has the arrow left? Okay, thanks. I'll let you hold on to that. Yeah, I think she said this was built around 1956, 1957. Oh, built in 1955. Okay. I was just a little nervous coming up here with the elevator. I don't know these older ones. It's 15 stories. Sort of loud. That one spot. See downtown or Orlando from here. Definitely way up here. See West Claremont one mile. points in um, different directions what you can see. You might be able to see. I saw that one time. Blue. Well, you might not going to see it, but it's way over there. On oh, Green Tower, I saw from a distance. And, yeah. Uh, well, you're going to be able to see it. But I think well, I might blur it out, but you see downtown. I think it's downtown Orlando all the way down there. some beautiful scenery from up here, I know that. Yeah, that was just at the, um... Pretty windy too, but you see the, um... The um, windows are shaking. Now, I was just at the President's Hall of Fame, which is... Where is it? I switched my other camera. Um, my battery died. I did a lot of filming at the President's Hall of Fame, which is right down there. Looks pretty small from here. The museum as a whole is not as big as I thought it was on the outside, but still, very nice museum and I'll definitely come again. But this definitely gives you a nice bird's eye view of it. At one time, when you come up here, the Citrus Tower, just see this roof? 
They didn't have a roof. This is totally open air. Can you imagine how it be, how it would how it would have felt been up here without a roof? Me, I would have found it a little bit creepy. It's not that I find heights creepy. It's just I don't know. This being all the way up here, being open air like that, would have made me a bit uneasy. But you definitely see a long ways. A lot of um. Zoom out. A lot of different businesses. I still have a half an hour. They close at um, five. I almost didn't make it today because I had something to do earlier, and I wanted to leave a lot earlier to come here to Claremont, but um, just didn't get a chance any sooner. But luckily, I decided to come, and I made it in time. That big old lake over there. See that place down there? Let me zoom in. It's called the Crooked Spoon Gastro Pub. Pretty cool name. There's a 7 Eleven and a law office. A whole bunch of stores over there. It looks like a Belk and a Publix. Jewelry place. One cool thing I'll, I'll show you in a minute is you could drop a coin down a thing here all the way as it falls all the way down. Which I'm definitely going to try with you guys and gals. I'm the only one up here too. They came up here, it's pretty cool. You can definitely feel the wind in the windows. shakes ever so slightly. I'll try and show you the different directions. Yeah, I think. I'm not going to be able to zoom in enough, but I think that's Orlando all the way down there. You probably won't be able to see it, but I can. You know, it doesn't seem that tall when you're downstairs, but uh, when you get up here, near that point that I was telling you about. You know, let's do that right now, and I can feel more of the, um... Just gotta get some change out. Let me try some different ones, too. Wait a minute. I'm put you around here. Oh, my head, in case I drop you. Let's see. We got some different kinds of change. Alrighty. Here is a nickel. I want to try to get you here, so I'm not going to talk. Well, you can hear that. Here is a penny. Not that loud. Now let's try a quarter. But you can hear this one.
And then the last one, let's try a dime. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm gonna leave you there for a second. I gotta grab this change. I definitely will be coming to um, Claremont again. There's a couple other places I want to film, and then I have a year pass for um, the President's Hall of Fame, and I plan to do some more uh, filming. There's just so much stuff there that I really want to be able to document a lot more. Cool place to um, check around. If you're interested in politics, uh, political history, history in general, you're definitely going to want to go to the uh, President's Hall of Fame here in Claremont, Florida, and then the. Um, Flora Citrus Tower being up here this is pretty cool. Uh, get a little bit from this angle. Yeah, I put off for quite a while coming here. I don't live like right next door, so it's a bit of a drive, but um, I'm definitely happy I came. Yeah, 60 miles of the Gulf of Mexico. That way's, that way's west. There's, there's the elevator. In case of fire, elevators, area, use exit stairs. So there are stairs going down, which is a bit of a relief. Well, I should have really figured that. Well, emergency exit only, okay. Yeah, this used to be open aired. Hi. Show you um, mainly filming the outside and go around with it. Looks like Warren here. I mean, it looks pretty uniformed. Hopefully, you hear those coins drop, but I don't know. This is basically my backup camera. I prefer to use the other one, but the battery runs out really quick, and I just have not gone been able to get a um, replacement battery. It was actually pretty expensive. So that's mainly why, and I was thinking of just replacing the camera completely and just using that one to film at home for what I want to do, just talking about stuff, and then get a camera with a better battery than one that is easier to get the battery out because getting the battery for my first camera that I normally use is not that easy either. I think I found it online but I'm a little worried that that is the actual one. Oh, if you notice right here, see that little hole down there? That goes right out to the air. That might be for ventilation or also for any liquid or water. I noticed there's some a puddle up here. So that's probably what they have that there. And of course they have that too. Looks like 
this is a little information thing. There's an information about it. There's the Citrus Tower. There's downtown Orlando. And Walt Disney. That's pretty cool. Well, I think that's all. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I mean, that would use a lot more to show. Except really nice scenery. Actually, if you look through this one, that is outside and that's straight down. Kinda creepy a little bit. Yep, that one too. There's that water I was telling you about. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop quickly for a minute, look around a little bit without filming, then I'll film taking the elevator down. And I hope you um, enjoy this video. Like I said, I'll film on the way down. I'll talk a little bit more when I'm done. Okay. Here I go. Wish me luck. Pretty cool up there. I'm happy I definitely got a chance to check it out. Yeah, might go and drink. Let's get a Yeah. Okay, so I'm uh, gonna break rims. 